So we've got part C ready, and I've got this piece of petersite that I'm quite happy with. So I'm going to use that for my stone. And the trick to doing this is you want to make sure that your stone is cut relatively symmetrical, okay? So that when you go to do all of your carving, remember this is going to come out as a mirror image of whatever you carved. And so if you're not good at thinking about right reading or left reading in terms of orientation, you really want to have that in mind. So I'm just going to take a needle file right, and scribe out the perimeter of my stone. So I'm holding it in place the entire time while I trace around my stone. And that gives me an indicator for where my stone needs a flat place to rest. Okay. So you end up doing a lot of trading with your hands and just making sure that your perimeter is big enough. You're going to come back when you're finally done hollowing this out. And from there, you can do whatever fancy finials you want. So you can see my tracing is slightly off center and that's okay. We're just gonna go down to the depth of the ring impression and then we'll do all the fancy bits. So at this point, we have our Peter site just pressed in to make a shallow impression on the cuttlefish. And that's enough for what we need. And so now we can get fancy with little carving details. But before you do that, you want to make sure you don't go too close to the perimeter of your mold because metal can leak out. So I'm just going to gently sketch a perimeter with the pokey side of this tool. Right. Any dental pick would work. And the interesting part is it doesn't matter what uh, designs you do because the cuttlefish texture is going to change whatever it is you're imagining um, and do its own thing. But we just want to establish we're not carving outside this perimeter so we can get as fancy as we want. But we do want to know where we don't want metal to go pouring out. So if we wanted to go wide, we could. If we wanted to go long, we could go to about here, but no further. And so that's our final perimeter. And I'm just gonna do some carving on time-lapse and then come back and discuss what we've done.